You ready to go get breakfast, Hazel? Yeah. Hazel, you ready to go get breakfast? Yeah? Okay. All right, third morning breakfast. We've been at Brick's Family Restaurant every single morning, and honestly, I wouldn't change a thing. They serve it family style, breakfast is included with your stay, so it's great. We started off our trip, we had the Lego waffles. Yesterday, we had the pancakes, which were delicious. Jackson absolutely destroyed two pancakes. And then this morning, we have their French toast. They serve uh, the pancakes. Do they serve the waffles? I think they served everything with uh, this like blueberry syrup. It's really, really good. We forgot to mention that on your first morning, they put a newspaper outside your door. So when you wake up in the morning, what you want to do is you want to open the door, go ahead and grab the newspaper and read through it. It's going to tell you about. I told, I mentioned yesterday that we did not know about Mr. Gold until like halfway through our first morning in the park. Well, it was in that newspaper the whole time. I was looking through the newspaper last night and I was like, oh, well that would have been good to know before we went into the park. But either way. Today is our final, third and final day in the park. We're not going to spend a full day at the park because we do need to get on the road back to South Carolina. But we are going to try to hit some of the water stuff that we didn't hit the other two days. We're going to have a fun little half day in the park until Hazel's ready for another nap out there. Um, something we didn't, that we've done a terrible job at is being at the gate before the park opens. So this morning we're actually at the gate. What are you doing? <laughs> so this morning we're actually at the gate um, waiting before the park opens and in doing so we I'm learning some things that we hadn't paid attention to the other days so there are restrooms right here outside the entrance of the park I didn't pay attention to that so we made sure we went in the hotel room before we came out but um, but again those restrooms are right there for your convenience while you wait if you do want to get here early. Um, cool thing, they play music starting at about 9.15. The park opens at 10. And it's really great for staying in the hotel because we get to have a little bit of a lazy morning. We, uh, I mean, we woke up at 7 o'clock, get your clothes on, and get breakfast. I've actually, I mean... I was totally packed up and we were still out here at the park by, totally packed up in the truck, ready to go. We were still out here at the park gates at 9.15. Because, I don't know if you can tell it from here, but... That's the hotel. Literally, right there. You have a separate entrance for people staying in the hotel. The main entrance is back there. I mean, it's literally like 20 steps over here. It's great. Like I said, we messed up the other two days. We got over here and then I forgot my phone so I didn't have the key. What is it? Oh, I gotta fix the straw real quick. Here, you hold this. Tell them about what we're gonna do today. Hold it good, because I gotta fix the straw. It probably came unattached when you dropped it, right? I'll trade you. And then I did fixing the in the video. Yeah. But <laughs> the first morning we came in, like after 10 o'clock, just, you know, easy, whatever. Second morning we were out here. I left the passes in the room because they were on my phone and I left my cell phone in the room. So I had to run back and get those. And then I came back and they did the countdown two minutes early. So I missed the countdown this morning. I was like, we're getting over here. I'm gonna get the countdown on video because the countdown is really cool. They uh, audio comes on the speakers, says, "Hey, are you ready to enter the park? Count us down: ten, nine, 
it's really cool. It makes it really exciting for the kids and it's worth it to get here a little bit early so you can be a part of that. If you're wondering where Hazel and Rosemary are this morning, Hazel was napping when we came back to the room after getting the truck loaded. So we decided to go ahead and come and wait in line and then they would join us. Hazel and Rosie have decided to join us. Hey Hazel, you ready for another big day in the park? Yeah? Ready for a big day in the park, Mommy? Yeah. Last day. <laughs> you ready for another big day in the park? Yeah. And welcome. All right, and there goes the start. You're just moments away Woo! from building awesome memories and experiencing all that Legoland Florida Resort has to offer. With over 50 rides, shows, and attractions, the possibilities are endless. You can explore in the land of adventure. Get your driver's license in Lego City. Build and create in the Imagination Zone. And so much more. Don't forget, you can always trade minifigures with all of our model citizens. And be on the lookout for Mr. Gold. Ask any of our model citizens if they've seen him around the park. Remember, we got to ask everybody. Now, it's officially time to right, open the sit park. Up, sit up. Help us out by right, counting down from 10. I realized yesterday that all the instant pictures I have are of us eating. <laughs> I guess because that's when we slow down, you know? Everything is awesome. All right, so this should be, like I said yesterday, the, uh, the film thing really should be your first stop if you got the premiere photo package because that's good for your entire visit. But, morning. But then your second shop stop should really be the refreshment thing just inside the door. You can get free ice and water. So you can get free ice and water. And oh, you just took my cup holder, mommy. You can fill that one up with water if you want to. Uh, is he getting those? He is, yeah. I'm coming over. One second. Good morning. He just knew he had to ask. <laughs> do you have an annual pass? Do we do not. No, pass? ma'am. 6.30. Almost set. All right. Thank you, ma'am. I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you. We have not checked out. Um, so I brought cash for our trip and we've not checked it out I know that there is an option for a cash to card system here in the park uh, but if you are coming into the park make sure that you either have a card or that you understand the cash to card system so the carousel is also right here at the entrance you want to do it with baby Hazel? You can, and we'll wait on you. Why don't you do that, Mommy? Hi, Mommy. You just want to sit with me? He just wants to sit with me. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. Have you ever done Ferris wheel? Have you ever done the Ferris wheel, Hazel? Say, Daddy, of course not. I'm only six months old. 
Since it was the last day, we wanted to try to get in a couple extra roller coaster rides. From the first day we visited the park, I wanted to ride the Technic roller coaster ride. It's right near the Ferrari exhibit and then on your way to get to the back of the park. It kind of reminds me of the Mousetrap ride at Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina. All right, here goes the Technic race car ride. It's gonna be a fun one. I'm in row two, so I don't have the, the front view, but I think it's a pretty exciting one. Here we go, to the top. better than I remember. <laughs> Woohoo! After my ride on the Technic roller coaster, Rosemary wanted one more ride on the Coaster Saurus. We're having a fun day. The other two days we did not go in the Duplo Valley Schoolhouse. Hazel's fussing because she wants to be on camera. She said, Daddy, put that camera on the princess. She said, Daddy, put that camera on the princess. So this is a cool, like, basically just an indoor play place. This is cool. It's like an indoor play place. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yeah, just a little bench. 
And then oh, you can... oh, I didn't realize that we brought a basketball goal. Yeah. An even big red slide. I didn't slide. Daddy, just I can get a bus. Yeah. I'm excited. I can even get down by Yeah, that's a pretty cool school bus, huh? You need a co-pilot? Wow, that's a big jump. Yeah, mommy, just go just go in there like that, mommy. Mommy, come hit these. No, hit the hit the black things. That's cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. And obviously. A huge Lego apple in the middle with a bite taken out of it. And then, like I said, we had not, like I said, we have not been in here. But then it says there is a baby care center. And so, oh, that's awesome. Look, they have. Hi, chairs. Here, I guess I should show you instead of showing me. So they have high chairs, microwave, mini fridge. Looks like a bottle warmer. A bathroom for mommies and babies, toddlers. Multiple changing stations. This is awesome. There's a bathroom around. There was, okay, yeah, yeah that's awesome. To we the right, this was yeah. here last time. We did not either. Yes. Well, we I mean, we this is our third day here, and we're like, hey, this what? is, this would be great. Right, <laughs> we had a little one Yeah. So. That was really cool. I just went down my Mommy, they have breastfeeding rooms. Um, not that we need it, but bottle warmers, uh, or a bottle war warmer, microwave, mini fridge, high chairs. All back there. Yeah, the, uh, changing tables. Four changing tables. The whole, the whole shoot and match. Hi, mommy. Toddler or a sleeping baby, then I strongly recommend coming to the Duplo Valley Schoolhouse. It's in Duplo Valley in Legoland, and it's a great place to get in the air condition, get out of the heat, and do feeding and diaper changes and all the things. Obviously, if you're in a different part of the park, then you got to come up with a different plan. Um, but if you are already on this side of the park, then it's very convenient. Hmm. What do you think, Hazel? Hazel, what do you think? Hazel. What do you think? Yeah. I think somebody's ready for a nap. All right, Jackson, let's go get some lunch, bud. Firehouse ice cream. What's he want? You want a cup? Did you like a like a half scoop of each? Okay. Yeah, sugar cone. 
get over how sweet it is of you to ask to make sure that mommy's safe. Right? And I guess that now Heidi's looking to drink that kind of milk. I'm gonna give her just a little taste. Oh! Daddy! Where is... <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at me. <laughs> Sure about that, are you, babe? So I can go like this. You can just stir it up and make milky ice cream mm -hmm. that you can eat. Chop, 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 chop. Because <clears throat> then it's even more sloppier and gloppier. Gloppier. Mm -hmm. And stickier. It's not sloppier, gloppier. Is that good ice cream, bud? It is sloppy and gloppy because of the chocolate and the vanilla mix. Yeah. About the best sorbet of had those, that lemon that we got at Palmetto Bluff. This tastes just like a coupon. <laughs> Shrimp on it tastes like a coupon. Let me taste. Let me. I don't have a spoon. See, it tastes like coupons. It does. It <laughs> tastes exactly like a coupon. Like a frosting? Like a coupon. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Because I just... Mm, the and chocolate yeah. mixed together yeah. makes and you stir uh -huh, and you stir around really hard and you see the it like this and then makes a coupon. Yeah. Did you trade? Daddy, you know I picked Emmett? You picked Emmett? That's so cool. You know why? Why? Double decker couch, and he rides the double decker couch. Yeah, and he that's so cool. Oh, I can even see the cranes. The cranes. Yeah, we did all of that. Um, we did all. We didn't do the water ride. I really wanted to do the water ride. I thought that's why we were wearing swimsuits today. But we still got wet in the in the splash pad, didn't we? Well, guess what? Yeah, we got so wet in the splash pad. Then I wanted it to be a surprise for you to see what character show I got, so I just did it quickly and I put the other one inside. You put the other one in the case? So yours is in the case? Let me go see. Yeah. Oh, hold well, on, why is it back here? It's not in the case right there? It is? Hey, come here, question. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our little hoodie man. Uh, and that's where this guy was. Uh huh. It's in it. You ask him if he saw Mr. Gold today. Did you hear that joke? He said, I'm the closest thing to Mr. Gold. I'm Mr. Old. <laughs> So, so I'm missing a G. Right. 
Yeah, you just need a gold tooth and then you have the G2. <laughs> and then can I taste something? Yeah, tell me something. You know how I know it's in it? Because he has the grumpy here and he has this kind of suit. Yeah. <laughs> and that was cool to you? Uh-uh. Yeah. Lego man. You didn't know Emmett could be a Lego man? Uh -uh. Yeah. But he is. But he is. But guess what? Oh, did you tell him thank you for trading with you? I guess I ride. Phil just said it felt so warm and cozy. It felt like a cool. Cool. Let's jump and chop up now. <laughs> All right. Let's go, bud. All right, let's go get our photos. Bye-bye, Lego Land. Bye-bye, Lego Land. Bye, Lego Land. Till next time. We'll see you next time, Lego Land. Hope you find Mr. Gold. Hope you find Mr. Gold, everybody. Disney calls it the Disney magic. And I would have to say that at Lego Land, there was some Lego magic going on there. So no, I'm not an affiliate. I don't get a commission. If you book a Legoland trip, drop me a link in the comments. I would love to, to help you make the most of your trip. But Legoland would definitely be a wonderful trip for you and your family, just like it was for ours. Until next time, keep adventuring and inspiring others to do the same.